So, I wanted to share my routine. I learned this literally, well, <laughs> my routine. <laughs> um, I learned this from a long time ago. I've been doing it for 10 years, 11 years? I don't know, long time. Where I actually drink water first when I, before I, sorry, camera, before I eat fruit. So I usually do, do I eat fruit first before any meal. And water actually comes first before fruit. And what that does is actually cleans your body. And I, I've, my digestion has changed ever since. It's been kind of like, just comes out smoothly. Um, you have to wait though after you eat fruit that you wait if you're really sensitive to or rather if you become more present with that you'll sense that when the body is ready to go to the next step usually they say about one hour but yeah about there 30 to minutes to an hour until you eat your next meal. I know for some people they don't want to do that because they're like maybe they're still in a hurry or something like that but I was like well it's good for your digestion it's good for the body too because if you have fruit after your meal it actually um, it becomes acidic on top of your body because fruits are the easiest to digest in the body you know the planet when the planet evolved creating fruits fruits are easily accessible. Same with vegetables. Um, they're the easiest to digest. Uh, if, you're, if you're not vegan like I am, then meat is sort of a thing and that also takes a while to digest. Same with carbohydrates, like actual like carbohydrates, not, not what do you call them, healthy carbohydrates or something? Like good carbohydrates? I don't know. Like fruits and like vegetables are good sources of carbohydrates too, but they're easier in the body. Uh, but fruits are the easiest so usually that if you have like three meals a day kind of thing that's your routine you would um, drink first in the morning because that also kick starts start kicks kick starts your <laughs> your metabolism and then you uh, eat fruit about maybe five minutes later or something because you wanted to kind of flush it out and then the, that's your basically that's breakfast and then you do it again but this time you wait of course before you have the actual meal that you're usually having again if you eat fruit after what tends to happen is after any meal especially with carbs and meat if you do have fruit after um, it becomes acidic because it's the one that's easiest to digest it becomes so it creates acidity in your body at least I decided to do it this way and I I don't know it's been good so I don't know uh, it's become a habit and it just at the very least it helps with digestion that's what I do anyways I wanted to show you I'm gonna sh post some pictures on this how I actually did manually like remove this pomegranate and La Pomegranate and it reminded me of this episode from uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch has a ah, pomegranate I love pomegranate uh, there's a character in there on uh, what's her name <laughs> the funny one uh, the one who's always like clowning around um, and then I'm gonna eat the fruit and I'm also gonna post the food that I created it's like I've made out of vinegar I put some soy sauce in it of course, I have to watch my sodium because many years disease. Um, with red rice and so eggplant, garlic, zucchini sort of dish on um, lentil and red rice bedding sort of thing. And then afterwards, the dessert's gonna be kind of like a peanut butter sort of sweet sort of sort of cake dish. I don't think I'm going to eat all at once. I'm going to eat for the whole day today. So, anyways, <laughs> I thought I'd post this one. It's been a fun kind of experience, you know, completely being present. And I actually wanted to share this other video that I was watching on being present and um, you know, 
genuineness and superficiality and surrendering and saying yes to every moment you know teachings or lessons that I've learned from having this Pluto thing in my chart it relates a lot to Eckhart's you know when you're when what you're doing is a means to an end it's not present it's unconscious it's you have to be aware of the energy behind it right. situations are secondary as he said it in the video um, priority should be our consciousness our our level of consciousness like where we are at how we are you know being present all that stuff um, it can be challenging but you know the more you practice it the more it gets the easier it gets and I'll share the video as well on that one so lots of things to share today Woo I can't wait for this one but anyways <laughs> I'll see you guys later hopefully I've been looking at the MRT camera